Buddy, I'm back here again working on uh, equipment. The piece you're looking at right now is this rotary hoe. It's 20 foot long. It's used to uh, remove tiny weeds right after you plant corn. And the problem is there's two rows of, I call them spoons here, and they're supposed to spin independently on these shafts. They do in the front row nearest the toolbar, but this whole row back here each of these are all ganged up and they're supposed to spin independently. And I've worked really hard over the last, I don't know, month to try to free this up. Heat, uh, penetrating oil, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, going as far as, as an example, I would cut pieces of PVC like this, cup them underneath and fill them in with silicone and then let it sit with PB blaster for like a week and it still didn't do anything. So. My final chance on this thing before it goes to the scrapyard, I only paid 300 bucks for the thing, but uh, is to do something called electrolysis, which is what you're looking at here, this tub. And that slight hum is the battery charger right there in the back that's been running for about eight hours now. And so the idea is there is uh, water in there that's got super washing detergent. I think it's sodium carbonate. It's not baking soda, but it's something similar made by Arm & Hammer. It's an elemental thing. I'll put a, a little note at the bottom of this video. That's in the water. And then one side of the battery charger is attached to the steel. You actually see it right there. And then independent, the other side of the battery charger is the red thing there, is attached to a series of pieces of rebar that are hooked connected by a wire that run all the way around the perimeter and that are down in the water. And you can sort of see there's a kind of orangey, uh, let's see if I can video that, scum, scum that is uh, basically rust. It's de-rusting. And the off products, the byproducts of this are hydrogen and oxygen, which are coming out of the H2O. And um, there's little bubbles that come up occasionally. And I'll leave this in this tub. There's about 60 gallons of liquid in there. I'll leave it in there for uh, overnight, and we'll come out tomorrow and see if these things spin. I might have to leave it for two days. Um, then if it works, if they, they spin freely, I will disassemble that tub and then move it to the next gang, the next gang of four-foot-long section that are seized up, and I'll just keep working my way down. There's five of those four-foot sections. So that is... Um, one of the projects I'm working on here, and um, we'll, uh, the other thing I'm working on, I'm learning about the seat, the air suspension seat in a 7140 tractor, which has an air bladder and a mini little electric air compressor, and yeah, it's endless. It's, uh, it's not endless, but it's just sort of a, a whole series of puzzles. So if you like to solve puzzles and you don't mind getting a little dirty, come on up and pay me a visit, and uh, we'll, we'll get some work done. Thanks for watching. Bye.